Hello, I just want to make a YouTube video on how to set a config, a server config file, execution file, so that when you go into an offline server with bots, you can make an execute file where you can do smokes, you can no clip around the map, and learn how to use utility on a certain map. So, the first thing you should probably do is go to settings.gg forward slash servity. If you don't want to download my config, there will be the commands in the description. I'll show you how to create a config file. So here it goes. I download the config file and then I drag it onto the desktop. You'll be done with this website. And then you just extract these files. And now we have the files. So you have my auto exec config and my video settings in the server config file. We're only worried about the server config file right now. And we can get rid of these for the purpose of the video. So on the server, config file, we have cheats, which allows you to cheat in the game. Uh, this will not give you banned, obviously. Uh, freeze time, zero is one, just to get rid of freeze time. Uh, round time diffuse 60, round time hosh is 60, and round time 60 just makes it so each round is one hour long. MP buy anywhere one is to buy anywhere. It's also right here just for redundancy sake to make sure it's working. Bot kick and bot kick are both there too to make sure there are no bots in the game. SV impact ammo too makes it so you will not have unlimited ammo in your magazine, but you will have unlimited reserves. This is good for like if you want to learn how to spray control at longer distances, you can do that to make sure you can use one whole clip of your 8K or M4. If you don't want to do that and you want complete infinite ammo, just change it to one. Warm up end makes it so no warm up limited teams and auto balance teams make it so if you have friends that want to join your server uh, it will not limit them to what uh, team they can be on max money buy time one start money just makes it so you have infinite money and you can buy anywhere mp buy anywhere obviously yep ammo grenade limit total of five makes it so you have every grenade so that's smoke molly flashback grenade and a decoy Warm up end, just so normal, but that's I told you before. Grenade trajectory makes it so you can see where your smoke grenade goes and how it gets there. Trajectory time just makes it so you know how long it's going to be there for, so it's going to be there for 10 seconds. God mode makes it so you will not take any damage whatsoever. And impulse 101 gives you that unlimited money. Now that we know what's in the config file, we'll find out where to put it. So. I have it in a shortcut in my menu. So you want to go to local disk, program files x86, Steam, user data, and then you'll have a Steam ID. If you have multiple Steam accounts and you don't know which Steam account ID is yours, you want to go to the current Steam you're on, then go to your inventory and then trade offers, and then you want to see who can send me trade offers and it will be this little code right here in the middle after partner equals. Once you get to that, you'll go to 730, local, and then CFG. If you have the config file, you can just plop it right in there and it'll be done. If you don't have the CFG file and you want to just copy and paste it, what you want to do is you have your config file, you can just copy, paste it, and then put those commands from the description of the video paste the commands into this little card and then you right click it rename and then just rename it server all right now that we're done with that i'll show you the other way to put the config file if you don't like that spot what you can do is also go to right click counter strike in your library you can go to properties local files and then browse local files under CSGO and CFG, you can also put the config file here. They both work. I just like the, the previous one, the first one, because this is where your your actual config file is. So it's good to just have your auto exec config and server and video stuff all bunched up together so you know where they are. Now that we are done with the config file internally within Windows, I'll tell you how to do it, how to use it within the game. Once you are in the game, you want to pull up your console and select the map. Just type in map vertigo or map mirage, DE underscore mirage, DE underscore overpass, all of it works out. So I'll click vertigo. 
Now that we are in the server, here's what you want to do. You want to pull out your console again and then type in exec for execute and then server. This is how you start the server commands. I have this pressed to a button, so when I press a single button, it starts all commands all at once. And then I also have another command, but I'll tell you it later. The two brackets next to P, the right one, is set to execute server.cfg. This is how I am able to press one button and all the commands are there. I also have it so that when I press my slash key, it makes it so the host time scale goes from 1 to 7.5 times the regular speed of the game. This is very useful for when you have smokes or a molly and you want to get rid of them off the map right now. So you just press this button and they're gone. I have that 7.5 because once you go to like 10 or anything higher, your game starts to sound really bad and it starts making really bad noises and the more uh, time skill, the faster you make it, the less FPS you get. So you can, you can see my FPS, it gets very low once I press this button. It is the same for uh, when you make it go slower. So now I'm at time skill half, my FPS go, goes double. Just a little cool trick you might know. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.